If you drive a truck and you have stuff you want to keep dry in the back, um, one of these soft covers is a really, really cool idea. Um, and this one I've had on here for like eight years and it's starting to fail me. It's leaking. It's got some other issues we'll talk about in a minute. So in today's video, we're going to talk about how to install a brand new Gator ETX made in the USA soft rolling cover on your truck. That's what's coming up next here on Survival on Purpose. Welcome back to Survival on Purpose, your home for trustworthy information and gear reviews related to camping, survival, and general preparedness for regular folks. My name is Brian. Thanks for joining me. And you may ask yourself, how does a truck cover come under the, the uh, topics of this, this channel? But uh, general preparedness is important. I keep stuff in the back of my truck, and I want it to stay dry. Uh, this cover's been really well for me, like I said, for about eight years now, but it's starting to fail me. And so I went out on the old internet, and I found a Gator ETX a soft rolling cover made in the USA for about 200 bucks, which is a really good price because uh, when I was buying these eight years ago when I bought this, was like 500 bucks. So um, that's, that's a lot better deal. Anyway, um, you know, I'm a plumber uh, by, in the real world, so to speak. And I was getting some boxes out of this thing the other day and I realized, man, the bottoms of these cardboard boxes, you know, you, if you pick up a cardboard box full of fit, fittings and you go this far with it and the bottom falls out and you got a pile of fittings in the floor, that is not a happy day. So that happened to me and I thought, you know what, I'm finally tired of fighting this thing. I've been patching on it and working on it for a while. So anyway, I'm rambling, I'll stop. What we're gonna do is um, I'm gonna take this one off and then I'll show you how to install the new Gator. But um, just, just to give you a quick, a quick, Kind of to show you, like for example, this I had to rig this up. This is this is my my rigged up latch, so that I could open this thing. And you see what happened just there, right? The whole thing fell here. It's just got it's got some issues. The crossbars uh, came off here, so uh, I think the one that we've got now is um, very comparable. And I don't want to say what brand this one is, but um, because I'm not trashing, it's been a real good one. So I will say the brand. It's an Agri Cover, so it's been a good one. Um, but the uh, I'm not sure where it's made, all that stuff. So anyway, I'll shut up now. I'm um, we'll gonna go ahead and take this one off and then um, I think you'll be able to figure out how to do that. And then I'll, I'll pause the video and when I get it off, we'll come back and we'll, we'll install the new one. Okay, got the old one off. Here is everything you're gonna need to install the new one. First of all, you need a ratchet with a 9 16 and a half inch socket. No millimeters here. This thing's made in the USA. <laughs> and then, you got your parts of your kit. So this is obviously, this is the rolled up cover. This is your passenger side rail and your driver side rail. And you can tell that because the driver side rail has this little latch right here on it. So there's that. Um, and then you've also got a little bag of goodies. There's gonna be four end caps here. These are little break apart foam things. And I'll show you those. We'll do a close up in a minute. Got six rail clamps, two tension adjusters and a couple of nuts, bolts and washers. And some reasonably, reasonably coherent instructions. The first step is to take these little foam covers here and just uh, break them apart and then find the one that matches the ends of, of your rail and line them up real closely and put them right there and they just stick on. And do that on all four. And, and be, pay attention because these things are, if you can see they're backwards. So there's two, you know, Two, two sets oriented this way and two sets oriented this way. They're not all the same. So just, but you'll find the ones that line up. So put those on, that's the next step. We'll do that and go to the next step. All right. Okay, the next step is gonna to be to mount the rails to the side rails for the cover to the side rails to your truck. And the way they're gonna fit is the, uh, there's a little rubber seal on, on the outside and it's gonna, it's gonna mash up against, mash, that's an automotive term. It's going to mash up against the side here and the clamp is going to clamp on and that's going to create the seal and it's going to also give you that low profile. So the clamps you're going to use are these right here. And what they are, they just got, they've got a little slot here with like a carriage bolt in so you only need a wrench on one side. And then they've also got some, if you need to adjust them, they've got some little, couple little notches here you can go up or down with them. But basically they're just like little clamps and they're going to clamp, they're going to clamp this little rail here, this rail that's got the rubber on the back of it, it's gonna to clamp to the metal underneath your top cover. It's gonna clamp to the side rail here. You're gonna put the clamps about a third of the way, but, but to get everything lined up properly, the first thing to do is shut the tailgate and get up inside the bed and, and do that. That way you can make sure the uh, rails are lined up evenly. 
Okay, so like I said, the next step is take take the side rails. Again, the driver's side is the one with the latch on it. And we're gonna, we're gonna, we are, I'm going to, I guess if you're doing it, we can do it if you're helping me, but kind of push that in there. And there's just enough tension to hold it in place. But bottom line, like my rubber's rubber, the plastic top here is up a little high. So what I wanna do is try to make sure this thing is centered and push it down and make sure it's kind of even. So I'm gonna push it in the middle first Kind of get this thing lined up and honestly i want this rail to be as high as i can get it and it still be not too high you know still be flush to be flush with the plastic here i'm going to take the clamp now and it's really a lot easier with two people but my helper is helping me make the video so we're going to do this old school so um, if you don't have two people the best thing to do is just kind of get it where you want it put your clamp up there and then tighten the, tighten the nut up. And this is going to be, you can kind of hold it up with one hand while you make sure the back of the bolt is, carriage bolt is pushed into that slot. And make sure your, your, these little clamps get jacked up in a hurry. It's gonna stay for a second. So you kind of get the, the clamps in line. Maybe do it like that. It's a pain in the neck a little bit, but, but they, they pretty much all have these kind of clamps. So. Uh, let's see, push that down like that. Open this thing up like that. Push it up there like that, hold it in place and get it kind of finger tight where it kind of stays. At least you can hold it in place and then make sure everything's still lined up here. And I say do the center one first because then you can pivot up or down and still make everything else right. Half inch ratchet. And just get it pretty snug while you're holding everything in place because if you don't hold the clamp in place it'll twist around on you after it starts to get tight ask me how I know man what is wrong with this thing is it not oh you know what <laughs> well <laughs> you cannot really tighten a half inch nut with a 9 16 socket. Oh, look at that. Would you look at that, how much better that works. So we can get it kind of snug, and then just gonna do the other three and do the other side the same way. Okay, the next step is to put these tensioning devices in, and they're um, pretty simple. They're, there's basically four different adjustments on here, and they've got numbers on them. One, four, two, and three, and a little cotter pin. And the way they work is there's a slot here on the front there's a rounded slot, don't, don't use a rounded slot, there's a square slot that fits this little tab. And they say to put these tension devices in with the four on top and to the front, and that's your first, your first try at it. So that's gonna be the default version. Then you take this little cotter pin and you put it in through one of these holes in the bottom just to keep it in place. All this is gonna do is provide tension for the, for the uh, cover. And then, so that's it. Just snap the cotter pin in and um, for some of us, it helps to have a little flashlight under there where you can see what's going on because it's getting kind of dim out here. Um, it's getting late. So uh, same thing on the other side, and, that's, and then we'll get to the next step. Okay, the next step is going to be to install the uh, soft cover, and that's going to install in, uh, let me move in the front hole, the front slot here. And I know it's a slot, but it's going to bump up against this adjuster we just put on there. So that's what's, that's what's going to hold it in its place. And just be careful that what you want to do is you want to make sure that you roll this down over it so that this rubber flap is actually going to go over the back of your, the front of your tailgate bed to provide a seal so the rain can run down and go outside between the bed and the body. And I'll show you that. We'll do a close up. Okay, so you'll notice that the... The bolts are in a, sl a sliding rail here. That, that allows you to make sure you got everything centered this way. But it's going to go in this hole, and this will back up against here. And this little rubber seal will flap down over there to kind of give you a rain seal. So we'll start with one side. Well, the goal is gonna, the, the end of the cap here is going to be on the inside here. So you got to move it that way, and then move your bolt out there and get it in the slide. And then it rests up against here, nice and tight there. Do the same thing on the other side. But before, actually, before you go to the other side, go ahead and put your rubber, your big plastic washer and a nut on the bottom and tighten it up a little bit, just get it, just get it started. So go to the other side, go ahead and slide your nut, your bolt over in place, make sure everything goes down. And let's, let's back up here first of all. 
Got to make sure that this little rubber piece here goes on the back side, not in front of your bed. Then, and just check it and look at it. And it's there you go, that's good. Okay, so now we put the other nut and washer on. Okay, here's a little tip. So you want to make sure that this cover here lines up with the Velcro because um, if it's too long on this side, it's going to be too short on the other side. So what we're going to do is go to the other side and just pull it a little bit. And it kind of slips on this tube. And when you get it where it's about right, it'll be even on both sides. So the last step in mounting this top is to go ahead and tighten up these bolts here again. You just want them pretty snug, but not crazy tight. Do that on the other side, and then we'll close the top. Okay, Whew. it's hot in August in Georgia. So <laughs> next step, and once that's done, is just go ahead and roll the top out. You'll notice there are these, these stiffeners here. Um, there's probably a special name for them, but anyway, just tubes that, that kind of go in. Make sure they fit inside the rails here, and, and just roll them down as you go. And you want to make sure that you put those in the rails and don't let them fall out. And then uh, the first time I go ahead and kind of make sure everything is kind of lined up here and everything loose because uh, this thing's going to take a little working in. But then you got these plastic um, brackets here on both sides. They got little notches. This channel here is going to fit up into there when it's closed. So just make sure they're in the notches there on both sides. And close the top. Okay, so you got good tension on it. Okay, once it's latched, go ahead and close the tailgate. Nice and clean. Go on each side. I just like to put a little tension on it and secure this hook and loop. Heavy duty hook and loop. It's like Velcro on steroids. Do that on both sides. It's already kind of caught itself here. Nice and tight and very, very nice. And we'll go ahead and push that back in a little bit so it stays in. There we go. Then when you want to uh, open, if you want to roll it up, maybe you need to put a refrigerator in here. Just open it up, pop the latch. Ugh! Grunting is optional. Just roll up in here. Roll it up. And you can roll it up from the outside, from the side. It's just easier for me to do it this way. After you've rolled it up, you got this little hook here. It just goes through a little loop there. Do that on both sides. And you're good to go. Okay, so that was how easy it is to install the Gator ETX soft roll-up cover. Again, this is made in the USA. Uh, they have customer service in South Dakota, so if you call with an issue or a question, you're gonna, get to, you're gonna speak to somebody that speaks English. And it's just a, uh, I'm really, really pleased with this thing. The installation, they say 15 minute installation. If you're not making a video, that's probably very, very accurate. But I like the way it works. I like the latch system. I think this latch system is much, much better than the ones in the past, which uses some tension. They used, the ones that I had in the other one, it used tension to kind of push a pin in. This one's just a straight up simple physical catch with a notch on it. So and it's very, very tight, very waterproof. And again, made in the USA. So, um, and by the way, I bought this. The folks from Gator didn't send me, so there's no, no, um, no hidden agenda here. I just thought it was a really good, good opportunity to um, show you how to, how to um, install this thing since I had to do it anyway. Maybe that'll be helpful for, for you. Um, I've had a lot of people ask me about these covers. So anyway, I um, thanks as always for watching Survival on Purpose. I put out a brand new video every Friday and Saturday, sometimes random videos throughout the week. If you want to make sure you don't miss a single one, I invite you to go to survivalonpurpose.com slash subscribe. Get signed up for my weekly email newsletter. I'll send you an email every week with links to videos and stuff in it. And if you'd like to support the channel financially, which would be really cool, I'd like to go to patreon.com slash survival on purpose. Anyway, I really appreciate your support once again. My name is Brian. You're watching Survival on Purpose. Remember, 
Survival's not an accident, so be prepared. I'll see you next time.